Francisco Gonzalez, the guitar maker in Madrid, in 1870 he was teaching Jose Ramirez how to make guitars. Jose opened up his shop in 1882. But he, Francisco Gonzalez had quite a bit of activity going on at his shop. In 1857, he had the concert guitarist Antonio Cano, who was already publishing sheet music at the time. He had that gentleman teaching students at his workshop. He eventually had Federico Cano uh, teaching at the same location, and then by 1865, Tomas Tomas also was teaching at the location of Francisco Gonzalez's workshop. In 1862, Francisco Gonzalez was selling tickets to a Julian Arc to two Julian Arcus concerts held at the Conservatoria de Musica in Madrid in a hall that was to be where the presentations were held. They were advertised in the newspaper La Discussion on the 21st of June, concert being held on the 22nd of June, and another one on the 29th of June a week later. Julian Arcus had his 1856 Antonio de Torres guitar that had the biggest body of any guitar that was ever seen in Madrid at the time. <clears throat> All the guitars that were made by other makers, of which there was seven or eight at least, besides Francisco, all those guitars were maybe one and a half, two inches smaller, uh, lower bout on the instruments. Also, Julian Arcus's guitar had a lute bridge. I have a uh, Moyer Manos guitar from about 1900 in stock. It's got a lute bridge. And so we see that uh, in Europe and throughout the world it was a very turbulent time. Uh, just less than 90 days later in the American Civil War, the Battle of Antietam took place and 23,000 soldiers were shot and killed or wounded or ended up missing. At the same time in Europe, Otto von Bismarck was talking to the political officials of the 15 Germanic states. Uh, to try and unify them into what became Germany in 1870. Also in 1862, if you were in Malaga, you could see the Artisan Exposition where Eladio Molina, the guitar maker, uh, received an award. Many years ago, I had an Eladio Molina in stock. Uh, now, other things that happened, I should say that the uh, tickets for the Julian Arcus concert were 10 reales. And uh, earlier that year, Trinidad Huerta uh, was in Madrid. And in February of 1862, and his tickets were 30 reales, 300% of what Julian Arcus was getting. But at that time, Trinidad Huerta was about 60 years old and Sometime in October, uh, Julian Arcus would turn 30. The uh, interesting fast that I found was that in the Jose Romanias book, La Biuela de Mano and the Spanish Guitar, he mentions in 18. 61 that Francisco Gonzalez was at Carrera de San Geronimo 21 and in 1863 and 1864 his shop was at Lataneros number one. Well the advertising in the La Discusión newspaper mentions that in June of 1862, Francisco Gonzalez's shop was at Latineros number one. And so that 
allows us to define his location a little bit more uh, permanently at that time.